Hello again, welcome to this uh, short tutorial about upgrading your hard drive. Um, it comes with a 512 gig M.2 SSD, um, model is MSI GX75. If you see my other video, um, I updated the memory for, for this laptop. So now we're here to upgrade the storage. Um, I purchased an MX500 2.5 inch solid state drive, uh, about a terabyte from um, Crucial. Actually, I purchased this from Best Buy. Um, so this is the drive that I will use to upgrade my storage device. Um, the other thing that you would need would be the, um, the packet that came with your laptop when you unbox it. Um, this is the hard drive holder. Um, you would need the black screw um, that you would need to mount this in so that the drive is not moving around. And then, of course, your screwdriver. Um, and then like a battery reset button. So as you've seen in my previous video, um, so easy to detach the back plate of the MSI GF75 laptop. You just need to ensure that you um, take off 12 screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then there's that factory seal. There's a hidden screw in there that you have to remove. Um, I pre um, unscrewed the actual screws. And as you've seen in my previous video, I've just used a card to be able to pry open the the um, the actual back panel um, and make sure that you don't drop any screws here because it's gonna be a pain to be able to find it um, <clears throat> this is where the two and a half inch drive needs to be installed these are the two mounting areas that you would use the bracket on. Um, as you can see, the two memory modules that I've installed earlier, um, both 16 gig, they're already installed. Uh, my son is already playing with it, loves the, um, the, the extra memory capacity for to run his games. Now he needs extra storage to be able to store his games. Okay, um, I'll start unboxing the the Crucial um, MX500. So it comes like this. There is a, a manual which really just points you to um, going to crucial.com support slash SSD on how to install it. Uh, there's your spacer and then there is your actual hard drive. The model number, I will put it in the um, description on the channel. <clears throat> um, and this is what I would need to upgrade the drive on. So now I'm ready to install the drive into the laptop. Um, the, the thing that you have to understand is that, uh, just kind of like take note that these are the connector, there's the power and there's the data connector. Make sure that they align correctly into the board's main connectors. Um, the longer one um, would be on this side. Match it up like that. And then the shorter one would be on, on this side in here. So you would install the drive like this, okay? Before you do that, Again, you need to make sure that you have the bracket that came with the laptop. Um, so you just have to, do, to put it like that. Um, the screw holes are aligned. Um, so you could put in, you could make sure that these are uh, properly secured by using the uh, screws that came with the with the um, with the laptop, so I will secure it right now. So for this to <clears throat> uh, 
um, to be securely mounted on the bracket, you have to use the silver, the silver screw that came with the packet. And all you have to do is to just slide them over. And make sure that you don't touch any other components, just touch the plastics. This is the battery. So just make sure that you slide it over and then you'll hear the connectors just slide in perfectly. Um, and then the next thing that you have to do is to make sure that you put in the screw um, into the bracket so that you will be able to securely. So you just need to tighten this up and now your drive is securely installed into the laptop. Um, by the way, I missed a step earlier. Um, I forgot to tell you that before you pry open the back panel, you could do the reset on the battery. Um, this is the button that resets the battery. Um, I will get it closer so that you could see it. And then once you are done, you just need to put the back covers in and you're, you're all set. And then I'll show you later how much it is on device manager um, under Windows. A couple of more steps before you could start using the drive that you've installed. So what I did was I launched device manager and then, then I went to disk drive. Um, I know it's fairly hard to see because of the resolution, but just bear with me. This is the disk drives um, and then you'll see that drive over here. That's CT1000MX500 uh, SSD1. So this shows that from a hardware standpoint, it does show, or from a software standpoint, it does show that the uh, drive is being seen by the um, by Windows. So I'll exit out of Control Panel or Device Manager. Uh, the next thing that you have to do is to launch your administrative tools. Um, you could just do a quick search here of administrative tools, ADM, and then you'll just see Windows administrative tools. You launch that. Once you launch that, it'll give you this window. And then what you want to look at here is the computer management um, option. You double click that. Once you double click um, computer management, it will give you this computer management window here. And what you're looking for is storage. So what I did was I launched storage on the back end. And then it does show that there's this one in here. Um, I'm gonna, there's this one in here. It's unallocated. Um, there's a pop-up message that you will see once you initially start computer management. It'll just say, you must initialize a disk before logical disk manager can access it. You select the disk, make sure you're selecting the right disk, not your bootable disk. Your bootable disk is disk zero. Um, don't make a mistake in choosing that. You need to choose the disk that you've just installed, which is disk one. Um, you could verify that by just the size in itself, okay? And then what you just need to do is to select that and then um, you could just so select MBR or GUID. Um, and then we'll just do GPT as a format. <clears throat> and then once it's, um, uh, it, it recognizes that, then you'll just do a um, simple volume. If you wanna allocate, if you wanna split it into multiple um, sections, you could, create multiple um, sections of the disk. Um, but for this use case, I'll just use up the whole disk um, and then I'll just create directories inside. And then I'll just say, yep, I wanna specify the volume size and I wanna use the whole thing. And then I'll assign the drive letter. Um, yeah, currently there's C, which is your bootable drive. I'll just do letter D and then I could just do next and then I'll format this. Um, and then I'll change the volume la label later, depending on how, we'll, how I would want to use that. Um, and then perform a quick format, and then I'll just do finish. And then now you're able to see that drive is healthy, and you should be able to use that. And if you go to your PC, this is where your new drive is showing. So if you want to do a quick copy of um, anything, just to see if things are working. Um, I'll
I'll just go to Windows and then I'll just do temp and then I'll just um, say yep I want to copy you know a bunch of junk in here I'll just copy these things and just for testing I'll copy the new volume and there you go